Hello and welcome to Portal 64. I'm your host, Davidoff64, and I know usually I post video game related content, but today I had a really special adventure that I'd like to share with all of you. Started back about earlier this week, Bernie Burns tweets he was going to go to Sundance and it was going to be on the 23rd, which is today. But the 23rd is a somewhat special day. It's the day before my birthday. Sundance is an hour and a half away, so I went to go see him. So I went out and they rejected me at the door, even though I RSVP'd, they said, hey, you gotta be 21 or older, which no one knew ahead of time that you had to be a certain age. And so that kind of sucked for me, but then quite a lot of other people too who wanted to go see the seminar. My mom went in for me, thank goodness, and she took notes for me and videoed stuff. And I just went out to, you know, try to find some free Wi-Fi. A guy needs internet for entertainment these days. And while I was walking, I I see these two goofy guys, and they were the Fine Brothers. So I was like, the Fine Brothers! I watch their videos almost every day. And so I said hello to them and took a picture with them. They were really nice. They answered a few of my questions, and then they went off to prepare for their seminar. And I was like, man, that was really cool. And then I continued walking, and I bumped into Adam Scott, and I was like, whoa! And I forgot his name because I was in shock. I was like, what is he doing here? And so I was like, hey, uh, I'm a huge fan of Parks and Rec. Can I take a photo? And he was like, yeah. And so I took a photo with him, said thanks, and he walked off because he, uh, I think he was going somewhere, and I didn't want to take up a lot of his time or get him late to something. And eventually the seminar closed, uh, well, ended, and I went up to meet my mom, and she was like, Hey, I talked to Bernie about you. And I was like, You talked to Bernie about me? She was like, Yeah, he wants to meet you. I was like, Oh. And she's like, Yeah, I told him it's tomorrow's your birthday, and you uh, weren't allowed to come in because you're turning 19, and you need to be 21. And I was like, Oh, wow, thanks. And then something else caught my eye. Mystery guitar guy. And it was... It was like, whoa, he's here too. There, there were a lot of YouTubers. I, I only heard Bernie was going to be there. And I was like, why are there all these people here? And then I remembered, oh yeah, Sundance Film Festival. That's kind of where like a lot of people go. And it was crazy. I was like, whoa. And so I tapped him on the shoulder. I was like, hey, uh, can I have a selfie? He was like, yeah, you can have a selfie. So I pulled out my phone. I was like, okay, okay, here we go. He takes my phone and he's like, okay. Time to go crazy. And I was just shocked by how a guy could be so cool and chill and then suddenly be like, okay, we're going to do something hilarious now. And it was really awesome. He went off to go meet some other fans. Finally, the moment with Bernie has come and he comes out. My mom's like, hey, this is the son I was talking to you about. And he shook my hand and said it was a pleasure to meet me. And I was like, oh, it was a pleasure to meet you, sir. And Jinx was there too, and that was awesome. And I was able to say hi to her and say, hey, I enjoy seeing you on the podcast that Rooster Teeth does. And then Bernie showed everyone the Laser Team trailer, and everyone was laughing, and this guy came out and he was like, hey, shut up, we're trying to film in here. And we're like, oh, sorry, sir. And we went outside, had a nice group photo, and then Bernie and Jinx were talking to the fans, signing stuff, uh, taking pictures, obviously. And then my mom was like, you should give them your business card. And I was like, uh, they could watch your stuff. Um, uh, okay. Uh, I eventually ended up doing it. I gave Jinx two of my business cards that have my uh, YouTube information, like the logo to the channel, the name of the channel, the email connected to the channel, and my phone number. And so... It, that that's kind of nerve-wracking because it's like a little kid handing Leonardo da Vinci a stick figure drawing and being like hey I hope you're proud and so yeah I'm a little nervous about that because I'm still a beginner still learning stuff still learning to edit still learning how to talk to a camera and it's just oh if they do watch this I am very surprised that they took their time to actually like look me up on YouTube, click on a video and watch it. Whether they watch it all the way through or not, I'm just surprised. Two, I'm very grateful that they would even do that, you know, if they even had free time or it even passed their mind. For all I know, she could have put it in her purse and never thought about it again and threw it away in the trash when she cleaned out her purse. But 
she's a nice person either way, you know? I'm, I'm not expecting anything. And three, I kind of hope they, they see that it's like, if they do watch, they're like, hey, this, this is a good concept. He's still learning. He could still make this really good and not be like, man, this kid's trash. He sucks and will never be a true Pokemon master. And yeah, but you know, there's no really way to figure out because whatever views I get on my videos, I just see a number. It says, you got eight views. And it's like, okay, I don't know who were the eight people, but wonderful. So yeah, that's kind of my story. And you know, it was awesome just seeing all these YouTubers, like the Fine Brothers, Mr. Guitar Guy, and Adam Scott. It was like, what? Oh, and I also saw uh, the guy from Arrested Development, uh, the dad, uh, Mr. Bluth, Michael Bluth Sr. He was also in Transparent just recently. Uh, don't know his name. I'll put it in the subtitle, like right here. Uh, yeah, but he was he was rushing into the store like I'm late for something and it was like okay don't bother that man cuz he's on a hurry so yeah anyway it it was just a great day good energy from all of them and I'm just grateful that not only do I watch their stuff and enjoy it cuz it's good quality entertainment but the people making it are good quality people themselves if that makes sense to you guys it, it, I'd rather have have that you know Instead of, like, someone who was like, eh, get away from me, I'm above you. But no, they were like, hey, awesome, you got a griff ball. We don't sell these anymore. That's really neat you have it and brought it out to us. Anyway, thank you guys, and I'll see you guys later.